Hey there traders, it's Andrew of DisciplineFX here. So today we're going to go over a little introduction to my 50k funded trading plus challenge that I'm going to take with a strategy that will only require 15 minutes a day to apply. I've been in this prop trading business for about a couple years now. I've traded with firms like FTMO, my Forex funds, and Funded Trading Plus in the past. And I wanted to do a new vlog so that I could share with you step by step how I approach trading a challenge. And more specifically, how I can go about trading a challenge in only 15 minutes a day. So for this, I'll be using a higher time frame chart. I will be mostly swing trading and my timeline for this challenge isn't to get to the profit target as fast as possible. It's, instead, it's to let the bigger macro movements take me along, whether it's over a few weeks or even a couple of months. So my, my goal in doing this is to be able to show you week by week how you can take a challenge slowly um, and depending on what unfolds, how you can respond when you're hitting a drawdown, how to respond when you're in a winning streak or a losing streak, and just basically put some real live data out there of what taking a swing trading challenge looks like. So in this introduction video to the vlog, to the beginning of this series, I'm gonna share with you why I'm trading with Funded Trading Plus what the challenge looks like, its parameters, what rules I have to follow, what are the targets to hit or avoid. And then I'm gonna share with you a little bit about my strategy, not the, all the rules that go into it, but just some of the fundamental concepts that I'm gonna be leaning on to have some kind of edge in the market. And then next we'll talk a little bit about risk management and I'm gonna tell you what my plan is depending on certain circumstances, such as when an account is in a drawdown or if there's a big losing streak. And then finally, we're gonna talk about a really important part, which is psychology, because I really do think that when you take a prop trading challenge as opposed to trading your own account with your own money, sometimes there's a bit more stress involved. You, there's a little added pressure and that's something that needs to be addressed when taking a challenge versus just trading your funds on your own with no real limitation on what you can and can't do. So let's dive in and go over why I'm trading with Funded Trading Plus. But before we get started, let me very quickly invite you to like this video and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified as these videos come out each week and I update the status of this trading challenge. So first, I wanna talk about why I'm choosing to trade with Funded Trading Plus. Now, I wanna argue that the most beloved prop firm in the market right now is probably FTMO. And I do like that prop firm, I like the model. However, even though they've done us such a good service by removing the maximum required days, FTMO has recently stopped offering new accounts to US clients. Me, I currently live in Southern California. I'm a US citizen and especially after the whole fiasco with my Forex funds, one by one prop firms are starting to step away from US clients. Uh, there's just a lot of regulatory uh, legalese involved that some of them are having to figure out how to get around or restructure their businesses in order to properly allow for US traders to use their platforms. And while there are some bad eggs in the prop firm industry, I'm not gonna try to blanket this or um, be Pollyanna about it, but there are firms that have rules or um, aren't transparent enough about like whether you get live funds or a simulated account. Those prop firms are risky. Uh, sometimes you can kind of tell what they are. We, we wanna stay away from that. Um, but, but even in the category of prop firms that are responsible, professional, the rules are clear, they're not designed to trick you. Even in this category, regulations, country regulations are starting to become another hurdle for a lot of these firms to keep doing business and be able to offer their services to clients anywhere in the world. So Funded Trading Plus is one of the few firms that not only has a phenomenally professional presence, and by that I mean 
you you know who is running the firm they have an about us they have a team of professionals who have experience in the industry they have a help desk that is always respondent you can ask some questions day and night and they are there to serve you and help you so that level of professionalism tells me that in the event there is some kind of regulatory issue this firm will be able to step up and rise to the occasion they will be able to handle legal issues should they arrive uh, sometimes you see prop firms are white label put on by young 20 something year olds who have no experience in finance and i get worried that they won't have the experience the humility to be able to handle a legal situation like regulatory issues should that come along i could see those firms folding first instead of being able to properly handle such a situation so F funded trading plus has um, that reputation in the prop trading industry it is reliable they pay out there is, there are examples of payouts which is another important thing i like to see with prop firms the rules are realistic they were the first to offer a no time limit on challenges and they're not picky about trading around news or weekends depending on the challenge account that you use and i will be transparent with you and say that i am an affiliate of funded trading plus but i voluntarily decided to be one because i vetted them for these requirements these standards i have for prop firms and i have found that time and again they are one of the most professional firms in the market so if you want to join me in taking a funded trading plus challenge Feel free to use the coupon code DFX10 and you can apply that at checkout to get 10% off of your challenge as well. So that is why I'm choosing to trade with Funded Trading Plus. It's not because they told me to, it's because I genuinely feel safe trading with this firm. They are one of the few that have set themselves up in a way legally to be protective against regulatory intrusion. So I feel like they're gonna be one of the few firms that will still be around five ten years from now as as this industry continues to change all right next let's talk a little bit about the challenge itself so i'll be using the experience trader challenge all right i'll be trading with a 50k one phase experience trader challenge we're looking at a simulated profit target of 10 percent no minimum trading days no maximum trading days uh, maximum loss is 6%. Daily simulated loss is 4%. EAs are allowed, which is important because I do use a copy trader for my other accounts. There are holds over weekends and no simulated stop loss required. So this is a simulated trading experience, which is an example of one of the ways that this firm is protecting itself against regulatory issues. Because we aren't trading real money, this firm can avoid some of the legal requirements that come with a live prop firm and will make it less likely to be held under regulatory scrutiny. Now, something that we don't see quite on this page, if you go to frequently asked questions on the bottom, there is some information about relative drawdown. The maximum simulated loss of 6% does move with increases in the account. The fact that there is a relative drawdown does mean we're gonna have to approach our risk management a little differently than if you we were trading an FTMO account or some other account that doesn't have a relative drawdown. At least for myself, I don't think I will be compounding on my wins. I'll be sticking to a fixed risk amount, but we'll talk a bit about that in risk management. So these are the most important factors I'm going to focus on for the challenge. Next, I want to tell you a little bit about my strategy. So without giving the full set of rules, I will be trading off a daily chart and only a daily chart. The trades I take will be evaluated and executed every single day with the New York close. I'm definitely focus on using a mix of indicators and price action and specifically for price action i'm looking for engulfing candles at certain price levels there are two type of orders i'm gonna use one will be a market order 
to take a trade with that engulfing candle. And the second kind of order I'll use is a retracement. I will be using a fib on the daily candle to enter into a retracement trade at around the 0.38 mark which could offer a slightly better risk to reward should the trade pull back a bit before it moves in the direction that my analysis assumes it will take. I'm not focused on any one currency pair in particular. I will be looking at all of the majors and a couple of the minors that have some significance that are frequently traded, such as the Euro Pound. And because this strategy is so simplified and streamlined, it really only takes less than 15 minutes a day to analyze and set orders. And the majority of that time is the process of setting orders. However, something I'm gonna be using that is really helpful in making this an even quicker process is instead of using the MT4, MT5 platform um, with that very arduous process of manually typing in price levels for orders, I'm gonna be linking a demo Awanda account to my Funded Trading Plus account so that I can use their really awesome order form that automatically calculates TP, SL, and um, lot size for you based upon your risk percentage. I'll be making a video on how to do that as well using a trade copier service. So be on the lookout for that as well. And this strategy is something I've been developing for years now. I think I've formulated it in a way where it has an edge and should be profitable over the long run. But because there are really only maybe a handful of trades a week this is a slow process i'm not looking to turn around and complete this challenge in like two weeks i'm thinking it'll take at least two months possibly longer depending on drawdowns and losing streaks the return on trades is going to vary from trade to trade but i'm expecting around somewhere between 1.5 to 3r return on winning trades which lets me segue into our next topic which is that of risk management for this strategy, I'm looking to risk about 0.5% of the initial account balance per trade idea. So, so that will be broken down into a market and a pullback order. And sometimes one will get triggered over the other. One will lose, the other will win if both are triggered. And sometimes both will get triggered and both will win. So the losses and the wins are going to vary from trade to trade to trade. So it, there will be a lot of different numbers when it comes to profit and loss. For a risk management plan, I think I'm gonna keep a fixed risk amount, so that 0.5% split between two trades, 50K, so we're looking at about, about $250 per trade idea. And I think I'm gonna keep it there so long as the account is above a 2% drawdown. However, if it does dip into this 2% drawdown, I will cut that risk amount in half. And should it dip down to a 4% drawdown, I don't think it'll get there, but if it does, I'll cut risk in half again, and then wait to increase it back up after earning at least half of what that drawdown is. This is a risk management tool, but it's really a psychological tool. The deeper you get into a drawdown, the more mistakes you make, the more frazzled you get by losses. So I've found in my own experience, during a losing streak, if I start cutting back on how much I'm trading, it helps me stay grounded, it helps me feel more in control, it feels like if the losing streak continues, it won't take me out. I have my next right thing I should do, and in that way I feel secure in my trading and not afraid of losing streaks, because losing streaks are inevitable. They happen to everyone, even the best traders. So you have to be prepared for them. and not just live in the assumption of hope that all your trades are gonna magically keep you in profit all the time. That's never been my experience. Drawdowns happen, especially during prop firm challenges. So that's my plan to deal with a drawdown. And while the trade's in profit, because there's a relative drawdown, I'm not going to add to my positions as I increase in profit on the account. Instead, I'm just going to stick to that fixed amount and only cut it in half should a deeper drawdown occur. So that's basically it for risk management. I will be journaling my trades. 
I will be looking and taking snapshots of my trades each day to see if there's something I overlooked. I have a checklist system for every part of my strategy where I can tell myself, okay, if all the boxes are checked, we have an A plus setup. If they're not all checked, maybe I don't want to trade or maybe I can put on a reduced risk trade. So take the trade, but have 0.25% risk instead of 0.5. So that's my strategy for risk management in a nutshell. And the psychology aspect is being held by the risk management approach. Another important element of the psychology is that I'm choosing to swing trade for this. And I really do think trading only once a day for a couple minutes, patiently looking at a chart that's barely moving, really takes the stress out of trading. And I hope this strategy works out just because it's so convenient and easy. It makes trading really stress-free. I'm being patient. I'm waiting for the outcomes to occur over time rather than that day or all at once. And it totally changes the feeling of expectation trading in a swing style instead of a scalping. So let's see how this goes. I'm interested to see where this strategy will take me. And, and I hope my journey through this challenge gives you some ideas as well as to how you want to approach your own trading strategy or your prop firm challenge. And yeah, if you think this is a succinct and thought out plan for a prop trading challenge, please like this video, subscribe so that you can find out when weekly episodes come out. And as always, I wish you all nothing but the best of strength and luck in your own trading. I hope you're having a great week. Take care and I'll see you in the markets.